Oh, we're live. Oh my gosh. It worked. Okay. Hopefully this is working, guys. All right. I try to make it fun. Uh, if you can see us and hear us okay, let us know in the chat. Yay! That was... That was so weird. I had to literally very like... Very weird. Change the camera, change the mic, switch computers, and now we should be good. Brian was really mad. I didn't know what to do. Well, it's annoying <laughs> when... I don't blame you. We're I'm nine minutes late. I'm not a late person. I know. You hit start right at eight o'clock and it didn't go. We really appreciate you guys being here and we appreciate everybody who waited, but we are now live. Thank you so much for being here. Yay. Looking at everybody in the chat. Hi, guys. I think uh, Pat D sent us some super chats earlier, so thanks, Bob. Oh, yeah. Thank you. While well, we're having that. technical issues. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nightmare. But we're here. That's what matters. And today was a pretty good day. Yeah. How was your day, Callie? Busy. This is the first time we've seen Callie today, actually. Yeah. <laughs> We had three full bins of shipping to take the post office. Cool. That's always a good thing. Yeah. I've actually noticed uh, going into, and that's what this video is about, we're kind of like nearing Q4 now. <laughs> and I've noticed sales on eBay for us start to pick up. Now, that probably is because we're starting to focus a bit more on listing more, hitting our goals, and listing the right kind of stuff. Um, sure. But it could also be because people are out there shopping more. So. Callie's t-shirt's the bomb. It's, it's a OG. good shirt. It's so OG. That's the OG shirt. That's the first shirt we ever made. OG? Yeah. And someone said they like my shirt too. Yeah. Isn't that cool? This is actually it's a new, it's a new Disney shirt. shirt. It Nobody looks cares about my shirt. It looks vintage, but it's not it um, it's not vintage. It's new. I found it when we were cool? thrifting and I was like, Ryan, you have to have this shirt. It yeah. looks vintage. It's not, but it's awesome. And like if you root it, no big deal. Thank you. Oh, actually, before we even get going with the show, um, and we have 304 people already in the chat. Guys, oh. please hit the thumbs up button for us finally getting on tonight. Yay! <laughs> We'd appreciate it. Um, but before we start, we actually have a gift for Callie. <gasps> yeah. Oh, where is it? I have it. So oh, okay. we went to, um, in. I don't know if you guys saw, but in one of our past videos, we went to a friend's new shop called World Thrift. Um, awesome, awesome people. Shop's really cool. If you're in like the St. Pete, Tampa area, I suggest you check it out. Um, Richard Spencer, thanks for the two bucks. Hello, professors. Roots from Wesley Chapel. I'm getting shirt love now. <laughs> Everyone's so <laughs> <Nice>. sweet. <laughs> um, so before we get awesome. started, we have a Special little present from World Thrift it's and vintage. us to Cali. <gasps> <laughs> Wait, can you guess what it is just for that? I thought I knew what it was. Is that Hanson? <laughs> it's Hanson, isn't it? Yes! Mm -bop. We got you vintage Hanson oh my shirt! God, it's it's so bad. So don't put it in the dryer, probably, so it doesn't fade too Nin bad. 1998 Hanson shirt. Nikki's going to be so jealous. Here, let me see. Show everybody this Yay. 1998 Hanson graphic. That is epic. <laughs> Who can guess how much this is worth so on eBay? Funny. Here you go. Thank you. Enjoy. You're welcome. I can't Exciting. be the only one with cool vintage shirts. Yeah. True. And Ben and Allie. I yeah. guess we all have cool vintage shirts. Huh? There's a couple that I kept from some lots. There were holes in them. And then I sewed back up. And I was like, I True. get to keep it because I put the work in. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So thank you again for sticking it out with us tonight. Um, I'm glad that we got it to work. We have 384 people watching. Thank you, guys. Remember that our live shows now are back. Um, so every Monday night at 8 p.m. we will be Ooh. here. So set your schedules and come back and hang out with us. Um, we're going to be more consistent with it. So come here. And we're going to start doing giveaways again as well. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think we're going to do any on this show. But in the future, we will be doing yeah, a lot we'll of giveaways. Yeah, back to that. <laughs> um, but this show is all about Q4. Um, I know that a lot of people, this is their first Q4 going into it. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of our, uh, of, of our students, when we looked at the survey we sent out, a lot of them were first year or, or our first year sellers. So we wanted to do this video just to kind of talk about what to expect, how to prepare, what should you start doing, um, what's different, what's different between Q4 and the rest of the year. Um, so I'm excited to talk about it. You want to know an interesting fact to, to start it out? Yeah. Q4 is actually Q1. It's actually it's technically Q1 of the financial year, not Q4. But everybody in reselling calls it Q4, so it's Q4. Same way we use vintage. Incorrectly. Yeah, incorrectly. But, it's, but it is. <laughs> now my brain hurts. Universal. Yeah. But it is Q4 um, for us anyway, and we're excited about it. Uh, I guess I can just, we can start by talking about like how we're preparing for, for Q4. This is our, 
I believe this is our fifth year going into it as full-time resellers. So we've been around the block, you could say, going into Q4 and we know what we're doing Sounds now. inappropriate. A little bit. <laughs> Um, but let's talk about kind of like how we prepare. And then by the way, guys, while we're talking, feel free to chat in the chat and ask questions. Um, we're going to try to read the chat. And if we see questions that we can answer quickly, we will do that. And if somebody asks a question that's pretty easy for everybody else to answer, please answer so yeah. that that person can get their answer. Cause it is really hard for us to mm. see and read most of the chat. I think we've missed probably 90%. We see maybe 10%. Fair. Right. Yeah. It goes really fast. So let's talk about Q4. Um, as a lot of you guys know, <laughs> a lot of our focus, as you can tell from our videos and our, our eBay store and stuff, a lot of our focus is on used clothing, right? As we transition into Q4, you'll notice our personal inventory that we're selling kind of goes from used clothing more into new clothing. Uh, used shoes still sell very well for us. So used and new shoes and hard goods. So we focus a lot more on hard goods, electronics, um, video games, uh, kitchens, uh, like small appliances. We buy a lot of appliances and stuff and we even sell some of those locally, but that's what we go into, into Q4. We kind of transition more from used clothing. We're still selling a lot of like rare t-shirts and vintage stuff, but we're getting more away from that generic type of clothing and going more into um, buying more wholesale, buying more bulk, buying more liquidation, less thrifting, not as fun, not as, <laughs> not as exciting, um, but more like, let's buy this pallet of goods and resell it on eBay or on Amazon or on local for us. Yeah. A lot of people use other platforms, but those are the main ones for us. eBay and Amazon are still like our big main platforms. eBay being primary for us just because of the types of items that we sell and then Amazon being secondary for us. Um, but that's the first thing that we start doing. So that's happening right now is we are making that transition and we are stocking up in a major way. Callie knows about that. Yeah. What Can did I you... say something random? Of course. All right, guys. So when selling locally, because I know a lot of people don't necessarily want to sell online, but they want to sell things locally. I listed the same item, something personal from our house that we wanted to get rid of on Let Go, Offer Up, and Facebook Marketplace. And it had um, like a thousand percent more views on the Facebook Marketplace opposed to Let Go and offer up offer mm. up had like 67 and facebook marketplace had like 693 so yeah. just know if you want to sell stuff locally and you don't want to sell it online consider using facebook marketplace because so good many resource. people are on Very facebook marketplace resource. yeah absolutely and a lot of people say they love selling stuff locally i agree i mean it's great for larger items that you don't want to mess with and delicate items and then also it's good to know your local area for example, like we bought a ton of Yetis and our area, the Brandon, Florida area, yeah. people love those things because yeah, there's so a lot of like boating and going to the beach and outdoor activities. Um, so we listed them locally and I think we, so we sold like so many, we sold them out in a week locally. People just come in by yeah. the warehouse and 40 bucks here, 40 bucks there, 40 bucks there. Um, and it's cash and it's quick and it's easy. So um, selling stuff locally is great for sure. I bought one from you guys. My yeah. mom bought like three from us. <laughs> so Michael, thank you for the $5 super chat. Really appreciate that. Why is USPS shipping charges so extreme outside of their set list of box sizes, which are all just a little too small? <laughs> it's almost by design, right? Yeah, it's intentional. 100%. Like they know. Yeah. Um, I feel good. like we've been using USPS a lot more than we were using FedEx. We have. For, we have. Yeah. Especially with shoes and stuff. It's been a lot cheaper just using yeah. the shoe box or even a regular brown box, but using priority mail. Yep. And it's been like under yep. $9. I so agree. We're losing a lot of business. And I think that they lowered the prices of more of larger items and raised the price of smaller items. Yeah. It yeah, seems yeah. like that's what happened. Is For, that what happened? I think so. And I think all the prices went up. It just kind of feels like that. Like the bigger items are, are cheaper now to ship. Well, they're cheaper For, than they're cheaper. FedEx and UPS. Yeah. Yeah. They've started competing on a on a level with FedEx yeah. and US. Because for us, like so we used to ship pretty much anything over three pounds used to go FedEx. And now um, a lot of our stuff is going USPS. And Crazy. sometimes uh, there's websites like pirateship.com, mm -hmm. for example. And sometimes you can get an even better deal <laughs> using USPS on pirateship.com. There's Shippo also. Right? Shippo's good too, yeah. For yeah. for small, um, for small heavy items in a USPS box, pirate ship's great. Um, for us, most of the time, 
eBay prices are perfectly good, or you know, they're going to be cheaper for us a lot of the time uh, compared to pirate ship. If it's not like if it's a three pound item, like shoes, for example, shoes will package into a USPS shoe box. They actually make like a USPS shoe box. And typically for us to ship that cost around nine bucks on average. Yeah. Yep. And it's priority and it's priority, a free box fast. that they deliver to your house. You can order box. it on their website. It's insured, which is nice too. Yeah. And you can fit quite a variety of shoes in there. I shipped some Timberland boots out in that box yeah. today. Um, the USPS shoe box is not flat rate. No, it needs to say flat rate on it. So that shoe box is not flat rate. You just put the weight and the dimensions in and it'll it'll show you how much it is. But hey, the regional A. Oh, there you go. The regional A is an hey, interesting box because stuff. it's up to a certain <laughs> weight. I think yeah. it's up to 70 pounds or something ridiculous like I that. I think it might be 15 what is it? now or 20, Oh, they changed maybe? it. I don't know how you could even fit anything above that many pounds in that little box anyways. Remember. Yeah. Two cameras went out in those today. Yeah. So, and then exclusive products brings up a good point as well. A box is heavier than poly bag in it. 100% agree. We know a lot of people who all they do is they, they'll take the item pretty much on anything, right? I don't recommend it on everything, but a lot of people do it on everything. They'll take the item, bubble wrap the bejesus out of it, put it into a large poly bag, because you can get poly bags from like that big all the way up to the size of me, right? Stick it in a poly bag and ship it out. And that is sometimes, or most of the time, cheaper than putting it in a box because it's lighter. It weighs less. So you just have to be careful about, you know, how much bubble wrap you're using. Eventually, that's gonna, it's gonna outweigh the box. And then also the cost of the bubble wrap. For the cost of the bubble wrap. The free box. Exactly. And then um, how delicate the item is. Yeah. But like, we'll bubble wrap shoes, put them in a poly bag, and ship them out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're shoes. All day. They're on your feet, right? You're like running in them. You're 120 pounds stepping on those things. <laughs> well, most people are more than 120 pounds. So, And that's crazy. We have 568 people Whoa. watching right Whoa. now. Thank you guys for being here. Sorry for the technical difficulties at the beginning of the show. It's YouTube's fault, not ours. Are you guys ready for more bags? <laughs> yeah, yeah. A How lot many of people. Should I order, though? Um, I don't know. 300? Five. Probably 500. 500? Yeah. We for did. Sure. So we <laughs> did the um, the donation to the, uh, to the care doc. The, Dog animal shelter, animal shelter. shelter. Um, we gave them the money, and a lot of people on that video said they weren't around, like they're new subscribers, and they weren't here when we did those bags. So we probably will do more, maybe maybe towards the end of the year. Um, so what do you guys think? Should I do an all-over fist bump, and there'll be bigger printed ones, and it'll be white on black? Do you guys like that idea, or do you want canvas-colored bags again, opposed to black bags? Do an Insta do poll. A, yeah, we do should do an Insta, Insta poll. poll. We will. I'm we'll going to do, do an Insta poll, guys. Look out for that. So uh, just really quick, I saw a few people saying that they would love to use USPS, but they live in Canada. Um, LQD yes. Info, Joe, has great tips on uh, shipping out of Canada. He's a reseller in Canada, and he's saying Chit Chat is cheaper to use from Canada. So check out Chit Chat Canadian resellers. Whoa, whoa. Oh, we had we some super chats. Five dollar super chat legendary from Legendary Tracks. tracks. Love you guys. Sales have been great. First 40 plus sale weekend. Very That's a really cool. good weekend. Nice. I'm telling you guys, it's cool to see people's sales start to pick up on eBay. We're, we're heading in the right direction, which is really cool. A lot of people, and you know what? That's why like, I hate the negativity and like naysayers when there's a slump on eBay, the summer slowdown. A lot of people you know, get on social media platforms and they're like, eBay is dead get off eBay, mm, yeah, it, this bad. guy is falling, which is not true. Like you just got to put the work in and you know, just trust that the sales will come back. Puppies asleep. Because they do. Fernando, thank you for the $2 super chat. Hello, you guys promote your listings. We do promote our listings. We don't promote everything. Um, only the, the listings that um, have competition on them. A lot of competition. Uh-huh. Like Tommy Bahama. And we'll promote them. Cruising. Depending on the category, we'll promote anywhere between 2 to 8%. 8% is about the max that we do. Mm -hmm. um, I I don't like the strategy of like upping your prices heavy and promoting at 50%. I think that's deceitful. I mean, I don't, I, it's just not good. Um, but we promote between two and 8%. Island Thrifts, I found a vintage t-shirt resale shop next to me, all 90s and 80s. Y'all need to check out uh, the Space Coast side. Ooh, Space Coast. Space Ghost, Coast Coast. 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 Do you know the, the name of it? My younger brother, Ben, loves vintage t-shirts and he collects uh, that kind of stuff. And he lives in Merritt Island. So he would be right right by that, uh, right by that shop. Yeah. 
two Aussie thrifters. Nice. Hey, guys. How are you going, going mate? mate? How you going? <laughs> Is there a percent increase in sales you aim for Q4? Yeah. So we try to do between like 30 to 30 to 40 percent of our total reselling for the year. We try to do in Q4. So if you if you break it up, if you break up the whole year, we try to hit between 30 to 40 percent just in Q4. They're going to be so offended by our bad Australian accent. Oh, They're going to my... ask for a refund she'll... on that super chat. Sheila. She'll, oh, she'll... She'll... No, you got to say she'll be right. <laughs> um, Tim Godsey, thank you for the five dollars. Rally is the best. Finished with twenty thousand dollars in sales for August and are ready over that for September. Thank you for all your advice. He's in our mentoring. Tim, Tim is yes, in our he mentoring. Yeah. He's he's one of the top dogs in there. He's still actually in the um continued mentoring. Continued mentor. Yeah, he buying all the lots. He's killing it. Tim's doing yeah, great. Tim is super proud of it. it. It's, it's been amazing. nice to see the growth too. It's very yeah. cool. It's really awesome to see other people around you succeed yeah. and knowing that we've helped them succeed makes me feel amazing. Mm. It just really is a good feeling, you know? 575 people watching, wow. only 200 thumbs ups. Guys, please take like one second and hit the thumbs up button. Do I feel like me. most people want darker colored bags because lighter colored <laughs> bags get dirty and someone even said gray. True. I can't do tie dye though because the company oh, that we get the why? bags from, it would be so expensive to do tie dye. It. We should just great. just order like twenty that we can tie dye. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, Ellie Crafts. Ellie Crafts. Oh, oh, new video up right now, guys. Go check it out. <laughs> we could just tie dye the bags, okay. but yeah. not five hundred. So let's go back a bit to um to what we we're talking topic about at the beginning, the, the topic of the video. Uh, somebody asked earlier when I was talking about liquidation pallets and that kind of stuff, they asked where we get those type of items. And my suggestion to you is if, first of all, make sure you're ready, right? Um, so if you if you only have $200 capital in the bank, do not go and try to buy a pallet. Um, don't try to buy bulk. Don't try to buy wholesale. Don't get on Alibaba and yeah. waste your money and spend $200 on something that you're not going to be able to resell. Um, I would say, I, I tell people, to start buying wholesale or when they're, when they're ready to start buying in bulk, probably once you have like $2,000 at least in liquid capital to work with. Um, and when I th say liquid capital, that's not like my personal money that I'm pulling out of my bank account. It's the business's money that is available to spend on products. So once you're there, that's step number one, um, I suggest that you start looking locally. One of the easiest ways to do it is just go to uh, go to Facebook, go to Facebook Marketplace and type in liquidation pallets in your zip code in your area and start looking. There's a lot of people that sell a lot of companies that sell liquidation that way. Um, yeah. And then just the biggest thing with, with stuff like that is making connections with the right people and building those relationships over time. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of companies that do it, um, but it's about like kind of building that rapport and letting them know the type of items that you like that you look out for. I'll even let people know the type of margins that we have to hit. So I'll tell people, listen, we are resellers. We sell on eBay and Amazon. We have to hit a net 40% margin. If you have items that I can hit that on, call me and I'll buy them all day long. If you don't, don't even bother calling me. So if you're just upfront with people and you let them know what that you, that you are a legitimate business, you're not fly by night. And if they have products like that, that are fast moving and will net you a good margin, call you and you'll give them cash. Cash is king too with local liquidation stuff. So hopefully that helps you out. And my necklace, it's from either a thrift store or garage sale. Dang, 614 Ooh. people watching. Whoa. That's awesome. It's a lot of people up in here. Remember, guys, um, Mondays, 8 p.m. Eastern time, we will be live from now from here on out, at least till the end of the year. So Allison said, I'm waiting for a falcon to land on Callie's arm. <laughs> Oh, how oh cool would that be if it just like that. happened? You should definitely though. get a falcon. And That's, then your arm like shattered. <laughs> that was that was big drift. Yeah. Yeah. So awesome. So funny. Um, I've been selling for the past four months, and thanks to your tips and tricks, I've done twenty five hundred <laughs> so far. Um, oh and all profits since ninety percent of the items were donated by friends and family. You guys are great. Are you know they? what? What's funny? We were just talking about this. We we're like, when people know that you're resellers they hit you up to sell stuff for them. Yeah. <laughs> so. I, yeah. My dad tried to give me his thread box. Have you heard of that? It's uh, like a monthly subscription. Uh, thing. Oh yeah. And nothing fit in there and they don't do returns. And uh. I looked all of it up. I'm like, no, you could just donate it. Oh, dang. Burn. None dang of it was worth box. it to sell. Yeah. Ooh, that's crazy. I was uh, subscribed for a bit. My parents bought it for me as a gift to a watch. Like they send you a watch a month. And um, the ones that I didn't want, that I didn't like, I actually sold them for about what they were worth. 
Nice. It's like paid for the subscription. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. You just lost like a little. A little bit. Like but it was worth 10 it. 10% or something. Yeah. But it was fun. Yes. You kept one? I think I kept one. <laughs> I did <laughs> six of them. And then I canceled it. <laughs> um, top three platforms to cross list used clothing and shoes. I would say number one, Poshmark. Um, number two, probably Macari. And number three, it, depending on the item, probably like Depop or Grailed. Like if it's a if it's like a hype item or like a mm -hmm. vintage item, probably Grailed. Yeah. But eBay still gets the most traffic. Yeah, but just cross like cross listed. Besides yeah. the main ones, I assume is what you're saying, right? In addition to eBay, definitely still eBay first for us. Uh, Vader, thank you for the five dollars. Thanks as always for all the free info. You're so welcome. So welcome. Tips for tips. Tips for tips. Yay. Um, MMA Corey, thank you for the $5. I did the last round of mentoring and I'm a continued member. I sell mainly Funko Pokemon, PSA cards, and selected product. Love the experience I earned. Awesome. Awesome. Yay. Sealed product. Huh? Sealed. Sealed. Yeah, I know. This far Sorry. away, it's hard to tell. My ass. There's also a <laughs> ring light right in front of yeah, us, which is like bright. blinding. It's very, it like blotches out. So you just yeah. have to guess what words like, are sometimes. What letter is that? <laughs> Um, new eBay are here. How long did it take you to make your first sale starting at zero feedback? That's a great question. Uh, one thing you can do, first of all, is build your feedback, build your buyer feedback, because it still counts towards that little number. Let me scroll this up quick. We'll get oh. to those. Um, so buy like supplies that you need on eBay. Go buy your poly bags, buy your tape, buy your, if you need boxes and bags and that kind of stuff, buy that on eBay from big sellers with a lot of feedback, because most larger sellers have automatic feedback, um, they have automatic feedback settings. So as soon as you pay, you get a positive feedback. Mm -hmm. Like our account, for example, as soon as somebody pays us on our account, our store automatically sends them a positive feedback. Yeah. And that counts towards your feedback. So that can build it up a little bit there. Um, so in the beginning, try to buy everything you need. Like if you need makeup, if you need hair care, yeah. shampoos, conditioners, like eye drops, um, vitamin, like just try to anything. buy anything and everything stickers. you can. Stickers, stickers yeah. on eBay even fun, silly little right. things from China that are 99 cents to two and a half dollars. You know, you just, if you need a new pizza cutter, go on eBay. If you need a squeegee, buy, go on eBay, like buy everything on eBay because you want some feedback. Right. But as far as selling stuff, um, first I suggest you start with selling very fast moving in demand products. So look around your house, sell stuff like video games, uh, electronics. electronics are great. Um, headphones, um, phone phones, iPods, iPads, yeah. stuff like that. Stuff that's in very high demand, um, list that stuff. And then you're gonna have to take slightly less than market value to get the sale. Um, and then ship fast, uh, ship fast and ship well, and you will get good feedback. Don't let your stuff get broken in transit. Right, and put a little thank you note. You can even write a hand thank you note to say, thank you for your business, please, um, make sure to leave us positive feedback. We're new sellers. You can even say something like yeah, that. So. Something really nice. You can go to the Dollar Tree and get a pack of 10 cards for a dollar. Exactly. If you don't want to make a big investment and just make a little handwritten note. Super easy. All right, let's get to I'll these print on super chat. Cut it up. Brandy, thank you for sending us $5. Can we see the puppies already? <laughs> <laughs> Do you refund original shipping if the return reason is item doesn't fit? Depends on your on how your store is set up. Yeah. So for us, we do free returns and we don't charge shipping. We do free shipping. So the entire amount gets refunded. Um, if you're doing if you're doing buyer paid returns and they're not returning it as item not described, so if they're returning it as item doesn't fit, um, then no, you would not refund shipping. But it's very easy for someone to lie, which is why we just in the long run do yeah. free returns because someone can easily lie and it is what it is. And at least we're more than likely to get a sale over somebody who doesn't offer free returns. So a and Hunter, thank you for sending us $10. Very good question. A, a big topic right now. Have you ever heard of experiences with uh, switching to managed payments? Good, bad. Um, so we still have not switched personally. And the only reason why we haven't switched uh, is because we do a lot of business through global shipping program. Um, and that's not supported right now with managed payments. So we we sold two things today through the global shipping program. So um, for us, we have to be careful about how we do that, how we do the transition. But I do think that eventually it's going to be better. Um, it's there, It seems like they're moving more towards an, an Amazon style system. Everything's internal. You get paid out kind of like a job. They pay out um, either, I think, weekly or biweekly. Uh, so I think it will be better than you don't have to deal with PayPal, a secondary business. You know, sometimes, you know, th there's been cases where people uh, open a return on eBay, send, you know, send something back and then they and then they go and open a case on PayPal because they didn't get what they wanted. So 
I don't know. But I think that eventually we've had a lot of issues good. with PayPal in the past. Yeah. But so far, so far, managed payments, from what I've heard, is still it still has a few kinks, kinks. Um, that they need to work out. But it's going in the right direction. Kinkadings. We be flipping good stuff. Thanks for the Aussie money. Aussie money. Another Aussie. And now the Aussie. <laughs> Love you three. Thanks for what you do. Cheers from Sydney. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Love you guys mate. Still. The We're accent. gonna have no Australian. <laughs> All the Australian people are gonna oh, leave wow. the chat. There's a lot more. Wow! Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Thank you for sending wow, super you chats. Guys are so kind. Whoa! And there's almost 700 people watching. That's there's crazy. Almost 700 guys. We've been gone for so long. Man, when we do a giveaway, I think it's gonna be up there. Yeah. Uh, do we require immediate pay on buy now listings? Yes, we do. Hustle Millennial, what's up, my friend? Always love hearing from you. Always happy when I can catch a live show. Well, thanks for being here. Yay. Seriously, we appreciate that. Um, Michael, thanks for sending us $5. Appreciate that. Hustle Wofkowski. Millennial again. Nice. Wofkowski. Uh, we've grown so much this year. Thanks to you guys, man. That's awesome to hear. Heck yeah. It's, that's great. It's all because of you though. I love you did the work. Yeah. It's so cool when we hear people like crushing it. Yeah. That's my favorite. I hope yes. you quarter four. I hope it's awesome. Oh, Rolo printer code. Somebody asked. I'm uh, pretty sure it's still active. It is still active. Someone okay. used it the other day. The yes. code is Ryan roots. And All with lowercase. the code, you get 10% 10 off. off, which equates to free labels. Yeah. But the Rolo printer guys, the reason we purchased that one was because you can get generic labels that work for it. Whereas the other options, like the Dymo, we couldn't get generic labels, right? We, I, uh, I don't know. We was. use generic, yeah. Yeah, based off of reviews. Yeah. So. Hey, Beverly Carter said, just turn on global shipping today. If you offer free shipping, does that include global? Yes, it does. But here's the way that it works. We do free shipping on everything. We only uh, have to pay for shipping to get it to the fulfillment center, right? Which is in America. So it costs us the same amount as mm -hmm. if someone else was buying or just someone in America was buying something. Um, the fulfillment center handles the rest. So they take their additional shipping from the customer. We never even take that payment or see that payment. And then they handle the, the rest of the shipping to the customer. It's a good system. I wish that they were more fair to the actual buyer. Yeah. If they just, you know, made it a bit cheaper for them, it would make our lives a lot easier. Oh my um, gosh. And we would get a lot more sales, I think. But yeah, it's it is definitely what it is. not fair. Yeah. We pay a lot less in shipping. Like, it's not as far as California. Yeah. I mean, we shipped. Uh, we shipped a first class package that was like three pounds, I think, the other day to our buddies, Retro Rescuers. And in in Australia, and that was like twenty two bucks. But so. it was first class. First class package, yeah. How how <clears throat> crazy is that? We what shipped a first class package to Australia that was three pounds. First class first class package international is up to four pounds. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. How Word? many people knew that? Because I didn't. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know that either until Ben, ben knew told that. me. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Ben. For knowing. Go that. follow at Ben and Jammin on Instagram. And guys, I dropped a video today. Oh yeah, let's talk Ooh. about that really quick. Let's talk. I've about been it. editing the video for the last what four hours. Allie has her <laughs> own YouTube channel where she crafts stuff. She makes things. And I've done four videos until today makes number five. And I have two more filmed that I'm gonna edit and post. Hopefully by the end of this week they'll both be posted. She does a great job. She's super creative, and it's stuff that like. So I don't know how she does it. It's crazy. Um, Callie's going to post a link to her new video. Oh, there it is. It's the. It was right there, Callie. Where? Yeah, right there. Oh. There. Yeah, that's it. This one here. Yay, Callie. Cool. Um, Marge says, I'm going on vacation for a week. How do I change my shipping? Um, instead of changing your shipping, change your handling time. So if you have a one-day handling time and you're going away for a week, change it to 10 days to give yourself a bit of space there. Thanks, Deb. Deb in the chat, here to help us. Oh, uh, so here's a good question from random dude. <laughs> Hello, Rally Roots. <laughs> okay. Is it a is it a good idea to uh, is it a good idea to use other selling sites like Etsy, Leco, Offer Up to sell more? I've been doing just eBay. Just started last month and sold three things only. So, I'm on the fence about this. I think that selling locally is okay. So, let go and offer up and stuff in Facebook Marketplace. I think that's okay. I do think that you should master one platform before branching out into another one. I can tell you that we started on eBay and eBay is still our main platform. When we added Amazon to our accounts or to our, our business, our yeah. eBay sales declined immediately. They declined. And it's just because we didn't have the time to spend 
on eBay at the time and effort. Um, yeah. Amazon went up, but eBay declined. So I think that you need to be aware of that and then also build up eBay first, get it to the point that you're happy before you start adding in additional platforms. And it also depends on what you're selling. Like if you're selling musical instruments and clothing, eBay is going to be number one. But if you're selling only clothing, you're definitely not going to be selling on Amazon. You're going to be selling on eBay. But you should also consider Poshmark because it's really clothing geared and oriented. So, but if you want to sell a big mixture of things like hard goods and clothes and just like weird electronics and whatnot, eBay is going to be your best option. True. But if you're only selling clothing, you should list on probably Poshmark as well. I still think I think Poshmark is a great place to start for for new sellers that want to yeah. get into clothing and because it helps it's supplement. Yeah, because it's so easy. But here's the thing: I think that I still think that everybody should do eBay because it's hard. I think eBay is a yeah. difficult it's a difficult platform That's to true. master. You have to learn stuff like shipping. You have to learn stuff like SEO, how to how to title your items the right way, how to put your description in, how to put your item specifics in. Like it forces you to learn how to sell stuff online, which is a good thing. It's if it's too easy, then when something goes wrong, you're going to quit. You're not going to be able to deal with it. If it's if you have some challenges building a business, when something goes wrong, it's not that big of a deal and you just move on and fix it. So and experience think, is knowledge and knowledge is money. Exactly. <laughs> um, Jewel Butterfly, thanks for the $5. Hi, I'm on the hunt for my own Callie and or Ben. Can you give me some pointers, good questions, discussion points, etc.? What do you think about that, Callie? First of all, how much are you willing to pay for Callie? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you live? We can sell. We're like consulting Cali. <laughs> That's a good word, consulting Cali. I mean, it depends on what all you're doing. Like, do you really need an extra person? Are you ready for that? Can you afford it? Is Only it you know. Necessary? Yeah. Oh, no, it's tricky. We kind of waited till the last minute. Like we were doing as much as we could ourselves because it's mm -hmm. our business. Um, and then once we were maxed out, that's when we were like, okay, Callie. And first, the first thing we did is we said, hey, Callie, would you mind coming in part time and helping us out? Yeah. Um, and she was like, yeah, sure. I could use some extra money. And then, and then we stole her. After after we we're like, all right, this is working well. Let's get Callie in here full time. So and we knew that we didn't enjoy the whole shipping process, like being there between this time and this yeah. time to do all the shipping. And that if we had someone to do that, we could grow the business yeah. and make more money. So we knew that having a Callie for the shipping process, not only would it inspire us to make more money. I just love how it's a Callie and a, a, a Ben. It's not I'm okay with it. Uh, it's like we love our Callie. <laughs> She's the best. It's true, I though. Everybody property. wants, like, a uh, Callie. Like, Callie is on the and pedestal our, of the employees yeah. that everybody wants. True. But our Callie's broken right now. Oh, I am broken. We need She's to get her fixed. She's still working hard. Seeing uh, a specialist on Thursday. Good. Everybody, prayers for Callie's wrist. Please. Yeah. Make it get better quick. Q4 is here. Yeah, right? <laughs> I just noticed we broke 700 watchers. Whoa. We broke yeah. 700. Yeah. Oh, it's up there on the left. That's awesome. Ah. Thumbs up button for us, guys. you are watching us live. We should yeah. be nervous. Did you see the super <laughs> chat from Paulina? I didn't. I didn't. No, we missed that. Did we miss one? There we oh, go. hi, Paulina. Thank you for sending us $3. Tips you guys tips. leave the best offer at 50% or adjust it. You guys leave best offer at 50% or adjust it. I don't really, I don't totally understand that question. Um, so like auto decline, you mean? Oh, uh, I got gotcha. you. Maybe? I got gotcha. you. Is that what um, you mean? So we don't do, we don't set our auto decline. You can if you want to. Um, but there's been times where we've had something listed for $100 and somebody's offered something really low, like 20 bucks, just throwing it out there. And I'll counter like 90 and they'll accept it. So they just want to see what they can get off, yeah, period. Yeah. So we don't put our auto decline on, but you can if you want to, if you don't want to deal with that. Um, so for us, for best offers, m the majority of the time we, we put in a little bit of leeway. So we'll list our items like 10 to 20%, depending on the item above the market value. So above what we want to sell the item for. So there's a buffer so that we can give some money off. So if someone it's a really offers high in demand item yeah. that there is a lot of competition on. Yeah. Um, yeah, so ours is about 20, 10 to 20%. Uh, you know, if we have a list for 100 bucks and someone offers 80, we know we can take it and still make money. That's how we do our best offer stuff. But most of our clothing is very fairly priced. Yeah. Like it's market value. True. And most um, people buy it at full price. Or sometimes we'll get an offer on an item and we'll counter and then that item will sell for full price to somebody else because yes. interest in an item pushes it up in eBay's algorithms. True. That's, I don't know if that's necessarily a fact, but it happens to us all the time. So I would say from experience, I would say that that's a fact. Right. 
quote me on that. You know what's interesting? I had a we had an item today that I listed um, on eBay, and so right now on eBay on on our like main eBay store, we're running a thirty percent off sale. I think so. When I'm listing stuff, I'm listing stuff at thirty percent above what we want to sell it for, so that when the sale hits, we get the money that we want for it. Right? It's like a little tactic there. A little experiment. It's a sale, not promoted. It's listing. a sale, not a promoted listing. Try correct. Different. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> I listed an item today. It's a, uh, I'll have to show it to you. I'll put it in a video, um, but I listed it for $185 so that the sale would kick in and we would get like, I think like a hundred and whatever that is, 30, 30% off. So 150 bucks, something like that. Um, well, it sold for full price for Before $185. It, it sold like, what? it sold like, it was one of those things where it sold like five minutes after I listed it. And I was like, oh no, what have I done? What did I sell? Did I sell this thing for way too low? Um, and I think I may have sold it for a bit too low. It was a leather jacket. Um, and you were pricing it higher. Yeah, but I was oh. like, whatever, 185 bucks. Can't be mad at that anyway. So. No. And if that person gets it and they've got a good deal, they'll be really happy. Yeah. Cool. What jacket was it? Cali for President 2020. It was a military old bomber jacket. A couple people oh, have been okay. saying that. Cali for President 2020? We should make those shirts. Can I be, Cali, make shirts. Can I be the VP? first thing I do is... Tell everyone about the aliens. Nice. Kelly, you should make your own merch. <laughs> nice. You would raid Area 51 is what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, Beverly, warehouse update. So excited for y'all. I want to help organize. Nice. Um, we'll do it, uh, an update soon on the land. Yeah. The warehouse on the land. We'll actually do like a video about that because we have some things going on with it. Um, Thank you, Sue. Are we going to join Managed by eBay when it launches in the United States? That's a really good question. So like eBay's FBA, FBE system, we'll probably try it out. We'll probably send a few things in there. Um, we'll experiment for you guys. Yeah. 100%. We'll I want to see what their fees are like because if their fees are as expensive or on the same expense as Amazon, then no. I'm just going to use Amazon because they have a bigger platform. <laughs> Lots of Aussies in the chat tonight. Yeah. Trade... Federation asks, when you list, do you try to be the lowest price? Honestly, it depends on the item, but yeah. no, we're not the lowest. No, no. So it, like Ali said, it depends on the item. Um, but we, if we want a very quick sale, we'll try to be the lowest price. But because we have decent accounts, so our accounts have a good amount of feedback and good uh, track record. So we have like 99.9%, .9%, I believe, on our accounts. Mm -hmm. um, people are, are more trustworthy. And sometimes if we have the same item and we see an account that has, you know, horrible or negative feedback and not a lot of ratings, we can list our item for 20% more sometimes. And people would rather pay or go with our item because we're more trustworthy. Also, our pictures are usually better than sure. those individuals' pictures. And shout not only ben. that, but yeah, go Ben. Our item specifics, shout out Cali, <laughs> are filled Ooh. out to the T and item specifics really sell an item as yeah. well. So pictures, item specifics, bam. It makes a big difference. Does requiring immediate payment on buy it now lower sales? No, <clears throat> I don't think so. Snoring Cat has a good question. Say you have 800 items to list. Is it better to list as much as you can or stretch it to like 20 a day? Um, so you have 800 items to list. Is it better? If you have 800 items to list and you can list them all in one day and then the next day you can list another 800, then do that. If you can keep oh that God. up every day, then do that. Um, no, but if it's if you only have 800 and that's all you want to list, then yes, it's better to spread it out. Yeah. Uh, I think if you try and do all of it at once, too, it's going to burn you out and you're oh, not going to yeah. like it and you're going to yeah. give up. Pick a number that's comfortable for you. <laughs> Stay consistent. List that every single day. And then once all of your listings are done, it's really good to go in and tweak your listings and edit them. Just show that you are actively working on your eBay store. It does make a big difference for eBay's yeah. algorithms. It pushes your listings up to edit them if you don't have anything to list. Jalen said, what is your eBay account? The store that we share is called The Hip Lion. The Hip Lion. I think Callie has a link to it. Yeah, somewhere in here. Uh, photos, how important are white backgrounds? Very important. Very important. There's a lot of debate about this. And we're so we're on the side of we don't like that it's it's required pretty much to have white backgrounds. It's annoying. I wish I could put a tie-dye background or something. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Um cool but wood. eBay, eBay's algorithms and Google's algorithms, their search engines, they like white backgrounds. So that's what we do. And we've heard it mm -hmm. straight from eBay, straight from their developers. That's what they want. They want a white background. So 
I think it looks more professional too. Like, I think yeah. so. Look like an actual like yeah. company. And the the reason they did that, uh, the main reason they did that um, is in so in Google Shopping, when you go to Google Shopping, like if you search for something and click on that little shopping link, most of those are professional backgrounds, and most mm -hmm. of them are going to be white. And Google likes that, right? So mm -hmm. if it was like yeah. white background, white background, white background, tie dye background, you would stand out. But Google doesn't like that; they want the conformity throughout. You'd My knee is cold. Page. Exactly. Your knee's cold. My knee is cold. Uh, Kendall. Shout out Kendall. What up, Kendall? Kendall. Sounds like you're saying Kendall. 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 <laughs> la, 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 la. Vader. That good? <laughs> I think you sent us money earlier, too. Yeah. But thank you for the $5. Because I think it. Vader, when you said Vader. I did say. Like Darth. <laughs> Darth Vader. Um, such a cool name. So what you're saying is Ben and Callie are the real rally roots. They are, <laughs> fair. they are. So I like to give the analogy of our business being a duck on the water and then underneath the duck are the little legs kicking, right? So you see our Callie. pretty smiling faces and then Callie and Ben are like, like moving the duck yeah, along. Geez. It's from my dad. My dad used to say that all the time. I want to be the right foot. Okay, Ben, you're the left foot. But if you guys want to have a Ben and a Callie, you got to work to get there. I'm the I'm the beak and Allie is the pretty feathers. I thought you were going to oh, say the other end. Fair. Feathers are very useful for ducks. They're actually a really amazing thing. That's true. But you need the beak to Science chew the feathers to put the, okay. That's what makes them waterproof. All right, whatever. Chew with Ali. Oh, yeah. um, thanks for all the great tips. Still trying to get the hang of it. Yeah, guys, this takes time, right? So we, and the other thing is like. Ben says he's never heard your dad say that. Call really? Dad. dad used to say it all the time, bro. Go on more sales calls with dad. Oh, um, true. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, it takes time, right? So we're we're able to go on YouTube and give advice and tips mm -hmm. because we've done this. We've done it and we know what's happening. Are we the best at it? Absolutely not. But are we able to make a full-time income doing it? Yes. Do we teach people how to do it? Yes. We're not saying what we do is the only way or it's the right no. way. There are so many different ways that you can sell stuff on eBay. Better Tons ways. Of people and better ways. Tons <laughs> of people charge for shipping. Yes. They don't offer free returns yes. and they're killing it like with shoes, for example, but it's just different business models. And it also depends on what items you're selling. Right. Like if you're selling work shoes that have no returns on it, more than likely someone knows this is the shoe I have to have for work. It's fine. You know? Sure. And so it, you just have to take into consideration that different items call for different types of listings. Right. But be careful, be careful about the advice you're taking. Um, the best way to learn is to learn from people who have done it, but then also you fire. you have to do it. Yeah, you have to go out there and do it yourself. If you're Sorry. not doing it, that you'll never learn. <laughs> Just do it. Just uh, Nike. do it. Is that how he did? <laughs> Just do it. Um, all right, oh guys, put whatever questions you have in the chat. We have we're gonna stream for another like ten minutes or so. And uh, whatever questions you have, throw them in the chat. But thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it. 730 well, people still watching. Well, we were 10 minutes awesome. late, so we should we'll probably streaming. be fair yeah. and go over 10 minutes because the, you guys waited and were patient for us. So that's the best we can do, right? If we can get the thumbs Set up button, up. if we can get to 450, we'll stream another 10 minutes. 451. 450. Hit the 451. thumbs up button. Area 51, who's going? Oh my God. Area 51. Party. Apparently, that's just a decoy place now. Oh, have you seen the memes? The memes. I've seen all, so the memes and so, all of the documentaries. Alan, oh my God, they're so funny. Alan says So I have a buyer that insists the cell phone case I sold him is counterfeit. I know it's not. Anything I can do if he leaves negative feedback, thank you. So, first of all, how do you know it's not, right? So, do you have proof that it's not counterfeit? Where did you get the item? If you bought it at a if you bought it at a garage sale, there's no proof. There's no way of knowing that it isn't actually counterfeit. But if it was yours personally that you bought from like the Verizon store, for right. example, but you don't have the receipt any longer. The only way to prove it is is to have the actual receipt. Um, yeah. That being said, the the way to avoid the negative feedback would be, I hate to say it, but it would be to eat the um, eat the eat the cost of the item, like give them a refund. That being said, if they've threatened you with leaving negative feedback, that's against eBay's policies. And then you, do, you don't need to do that. Um, as soon as someone, if someone puts in a message like, you better do this, otherwise I'm gonna leave negative feedback, eBay will 100% so side with the seller in that case. So eBay's doing right. a really good job siding with sellers because they got a lot of flack from people. They've done a lot better. Yeah, so they've gotten much better because they got annihilated. <laughs> 
Tony says, happy 30th birthday to my son, Anthony, this Friday, September 20th. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Anthony. That's happy so birthday. funny. Look, it's Tony and uh, Cattarelli and then her son, Anthony. One of my best friends, his dad's name is Tony Carnivale, and his son's name is Anthony Carnivale. I guess well, he's Tony's also Tony's short Anthony for Anthony, Anthony. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just same, funny. Different. It's very <laughs> Italian. Yeah. I'm Italian. 434 thumbs ups. That's not 450. Uh oh. You guys have six minutes to get it to 450. Uh, they want you to leave. <laughs> you they have awesome tattoos. Thank you. Me or Allie? Allie's got really cool Pokemon tattoos. Pokemon. This is a lychee, and then that's a Bulbasaur. And then when we finally name our Westie. Oh, yeah. You got to add a Westie. You guys get to see the pupper. She's passed out right now. She's been a great puppy so far. She's very quiet. Such a good puppy. Very few accidents. Housebreaking is not fun, but we're getting there. She's four months old, so it's not as hard as a, a 10-week-old. <laughs> ben says, here to vote no more unicorn roots at the end of videos. No way. No way. I'll edit it out. I'll edit it out. If she ever tries again, I'll edit it out. It'll just be like me doing the fist bump and then just blank screen. <laughs> just, I'm, I'm going to do it every I'm time gonna, if you edit it out. I'm going to start replacing you with stuff, with like a T-Rex fist bump or like. <laughs> I love that. You're just going to morph into I definitely want something. to be a T-Rex. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm, hiring, I'm hiring, guys. If you know of any good uh, wives, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> but the new model needs to cook. Right. He <laughs> goes, dude, that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Sloth. Uh, I got my first negative ever started in 2009. eBay removed it almost instantly. Very good, eBay. Wow. Very good, eBay. Well, hopefully it wasn't your fault. But... <laughs> Um, yeah. eBay has been so much, so much better. I think with their sellers, Amazon's gotten worse and eBay's gotten better with like communication with their sellers and actually helping their sellers out, which is great. I think that's good. I think, I think that when people ask me like, what's the big difference between eBay and Amazon from the seller side, I think that's the biggest thing that separates the two. I think Amazon's better for actually like building a big business. If you want to do like wholesale FBA, stuff like that. Um, but I think that eBay is better for retention not getting burned out and actually working with people not a computer <laughs> i like that whatever that is <laughs> whatever that, that is great <laughs> um, sunshine has asked this a few times <clears throat> yeah really good question. she's awesome. afraid to get started on amazon because of hearing so many horror stories what are some types of simple products to get started so it's not so overwhelming um that's kind of hard because it's tough you can be gated in a lot of things. Yeah. So annoying Amazon. The easiest, the easiest product, honestly, to get started and learn the ropes on Amazon is books. Scan books. Good. I know it's boring, but you can go to thrift stores and scan them and you can learn how to use Amazon by scanning books. Um, I don't, I don't and like games. books. Games good too. Games. Well, a lot of people are gated though in a lot of games. <laughs> so, so books, everybody Amazon's can sell goodness. books. That's a good question. I thought you'd like that one. Do you guys ever scoop vintage blank tees? I find them oh. all the time. Um, yes. Yes, we do. Uh, I actually found three vintage. What? Which ones were there? Oh, they were Russell. Three vintage Russell blank t-shirts at the thrift store the other day. I was going to buy them, um, but I I left them because down the, down the center of all of them, the seam had kind of like come out. Hmm. So, But they would have been worth like $23 each. So vintage and blanks the are great. Why? Just because they're. I didn't even know about this. What do you mean? People like they don't to make them anymore. Them. Yeah. Like people like to reprint on vintage tees, like and vintage hats. looking graphics. Yep. Yeah, we almost bought those pink ones the other day, but then there was stuff on the back. I have I have a blank sitting in my closet right now, ready to for a graphic. Oh, hey. Big drift. Thanks for the five bucks. I hope the um the snow cone is it snow cone place? Yeah. Is going well. Oops. Oh my gosh! Yes, Snow Kona. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't know. We were we've been calling the puppy Kona, but I don't know. I kind of wanted to That's call cool. her Matcha because I could call the dogs my little M and M's. I don't like Matcha. Mochi and Matcha. I love Matcha. I drink it every day. Oh, I like the actual stuff. I don't like the name for the dog. She's white, not green. <laughs> She's not. Green. I mean, but white dog names are so lame, like Cotton Ball. Bring back thrift outfit date night. <clears throat> Perhaps yes. challenge other reseller couples to do the same and put their date on YouTube. That'd be cool. Yes. Maybe we could do that and say like, put your 
videos up there and we can make like a compilation type yeah. video. Can or maybe we can do video? like our favorite outfit wins a hundred bucks or something. That'd be cool. And we should go or to like, like a really can... busy place, like a brewery and then get like just two film. fans to be in the video with you. Yeah, that'd be cool too. Ooh. So yeah, where are we at? Getting people's permission to be in videos is kind of weird for like their faces and reactions. So we have to figure out like the legalities of yeah. that. We have to film in public. Yeah. 482, yeah. so we can stream for another 10 minutes. All right, all right. And Chick Rocker, hi. Thanks for hey, the five Chick bucks. Chick Rocker! If you have an item that's been listed for three plus months and you fix the title description already, would it be good to delete and repost it? It wouldn't hurt it. It wouldn't that's hurt good. it. Um, so if you do that, just end the item and then go back into your ended listings and do sell similar. Not relist. <clears throat> Not relist, sell similar. <clears throat> Sorry. Just wanted to And then um, change things up again. So change the title, move a, move some pictures around. If you want to take new pictures, you can. But um, yeah, end it and relist it. That's not a bad idea. You could also try running like a sale on it or promoting it higher. Um, but three three plus months, yeah, delete it or end it and then sell somewhere. That's cool. My buddy buys black vintage shirts because he might save them for his own clothing designs. That's Great. cool. I like that. Um, do you guys have certain days where you thrift all day or how does your schedule work? So we just redid our schedule recently. Um, and yeah, so everything's kind of planned out now. When we do when we do mentoring, we have to make sure that we're super, super laser focused. Um, so now our days are split into like, today we went thrifting and filmed a video and did mentoring and did eBay, um, edited videos. Tomorrow we're doing, we're focusing on mentoring and building wholesale lots and going to the warehouse and doing all that stuff, so. Yeah, but I have more videos to edit. I might just edit for a few hours tonight. A thing just sold. A thing, a vintage thing. An old pants. Levi's. Or is it not pants? I thought it was pants. Is it pants? I don't know. Pants, some kind of Levi's. I have a pile of 1996 blank tees. Ooh, I'll buy them, wow. I'll buy them. You want to get cool. the doggos? Doggo time. The pupper, she'll wake up as soon as I let Mochi out. All right. Patties with another $2 Patties super chat. for the extra 10 minutes. Electric bill money. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Appreciate it. It's going to go straight into the car. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, my. Good girl. I just saw the price tag on that Hanson tea. Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's the first rule of gift giving. Oh, my God. Dang. Well, we got yeah, it. We got it. Wear it. He gave us a better deal. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know what's on there. 50 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, we got a better deal. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, um... Uh, hmm. That's Yuck, awesome. Right. There's the new one. Here's the poppers. Give me Mochi, I thought Mochi was just going to jump up. Oh, she's oh, so tight. She's oh. a sleepy boda. Is she full? She ate a lot. Look at how cute they are. They're good girls. Hey, guys, should we name her Pillow? <laughs> she looks just <laughs> like the pillow. I like what I like. I like black and white things and shaggy white things, apparently. Uh, the car is just straight electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. No gas. What I can do. What happens sure. in the, like, yeah. she looks like if you need to evacuate from a hurricane and there's nowhere to charge because of electricity? I guess you're. You got to take the meatball. F well, F you're going to have electric more than people will have gas. Gas will be gone before electric. That's true, too. Oh, you and their, um, their power, their supercharger stations, they're, they're still on during natural disasters or whatever. So you could still charge, I guess. The gas Water? will be gone. Guys, oh, where's the dog? Where's the dog? Can you see the dog? Can you see her now? Boop. How does she the bulldog like the new pooch? She she's, doesn't really care. She's like, yeah. She's staring. They're not like best friends yet, but Aww. she's getting there. Oh. Ryan, Aww. how's that trademark for TLC coming? Not great. <laughs> <laughs> you look my nose. Your breath is uh, gross. Oh. No. I'm sure you. Oh, this is this is good. I'm sure you sell more than I, but I'm so annoyed with the eBay emails for every time you print a shipping label. Why? You know, you just purchase postage. Your thoughts. You can switch that off. That's a set in the eBay. Just go switch it off. Mochi's face right now, guys. I'm sorry. It is so <laughs> cute. I'm gonna post these pictures. <laughs> oh my god. Should um, I raise my prices wait, during Q4? No, I would suggest you still uh, list on market value, list on the on the right price, um, and you'll sell. You'll sell stuff. Raising your prices isn't really going to do much, except get you less sales. Because the competition does go up in Q4, but the sales are better because more people are shopping. I got a really good one. You can switch it off. How do you switch off the emails? 
I'm sure it's something simple. Just Google it. The eBay, if it's the ones that I'm thinking of, yeah. Do you have any tattoos? You Although we do, we do mostly bulk shipping, so maybe that's why. Mm. Uh, Dylan, thanks for the five dollars. Do you offer free shipping on heavier items and raise the price to cover shipping, or just charge charge shipping? Really good question. That's um, a good one. So we still do free shipping on heavier items most of the time, um, but yeah, ninety nine percent of the time we're doing free shipping. And we do exactly what you said there. We're not losing money on shipping. We're just adding the shipping cost into the item. So like if a comp on an item is $50 plus $15 shipping, if we find that comp, we're not listing the item for $50. For $50. We're listing the item for 65. So we're still getting all of the money. Um, we're just including the shipping in the price. And sorry for repeating that everybody who's been in you know our sure. live chats in the past, but we got to make sure that we say that every mm. single um, live show because people need to be aware that that is how we're doing it. Yeah. And if we don't tell everybody every Say time, hi. there's so many new people Say hi to probably know. <laughs> Say hi. Oh, oh, use your words. Oh, use your breath. Oh, yeah. she doesn't like that. <laughs> she doesn't want to be like Super that. Super dogs. She doesn't like that. Oh, oh Momo. Look Four so bowls. Ooh, $10. Super $10. Chair. Congrats on doing a great job. Thank you. The Thanks, bulldog. Lynn. I tried to let Mochi sleep with us the other night, but she was snoring so loud, Ryan kicked her out of the room. Who, <laughs> who wears those junky vintage t-shirts? Lots of people. I wear them. Callie wears them. Allie wears them. I think them. that they're just being facetious. I know. Because they use the word junky. I know. But listen, that's a fun word. Style is what it is, guys. People like different styles. And if if you like vintage t-shirt with, with holes in them, go for it. Who cares? Fashion is, is uh, you know, it is what you want it to be. Yeah. So. Michael asked, turnaround time for vintage pearl snaps. So the shirts. Depends, um, it on, the depends brand. on the brand. It depends if it's short sleeve, long sleeve. And it also depends if you've priced it well. And the size, too. And the size, yeah. yeah. So the larger size, the better. And which brand would probably say is the best? The Wrangler with the W? The Wrangler's good. Yeah. Um, but under, and Levi's really good. Under under 60 days, usually, for us. Oh, my God, her face. But she needs to sleep. How is this face so She really funny. likes this. Oh, my God. We use the Global Shipping Program. Oh, she man, this face. Callie's in it. Just name her Shaggy. <laughs> oh man, Mo, your face. Just name her Shaggy. Are we coming out with tote bags anytime soon? Yeah, yes. we said it earlier in the chat. Um, we're probably gonna do them more towards the holiday season so that people can pick them up, oh, pick them up you. for gifts. I got stuff. an earring compliment. True. It's hard to find these wood carved earrings. Do those Burn. hang, make your lobes hang low? No. Lobes hang do low. your lobes hang low? These are balsa wood. Oh, so it's very so light. It like float. Let's yeah. try to get to 500 likes. Yeah, that would be awesome. Before we end the show, if we could get to, to 500. For actually getting cool. the show going, we'll guys. get it to 600. Dang. Yeah, not 600, but we could get to. Come on, guys. Do it, do it for the puppies. <laughs> when should Bye I consider? Puppies. When should I consider? Should we name her Snow? <laughs> when should I consider opening an eBay store? Um, So I, you know, eBay stores are really good. I think if you're listing... If you're listing like more than 50 things a month, I would say open an eBay store, <laughs> open a basic store. There's also a lower level now. I think it's called a starter store and that's a good one too. Oh yeah, true. And then we have not started planning the thousand party, hundred thousand no. party give plans. We'll keep you posted. But we will keep you posted. We're gonna start planning that probably in the next two weeks, maybe three weeks, just depends. Mentoring, we're gonna be a little bogged down with that. And it takes a few months for us to get the plaque anyways. Yeah. Right, so. They know about it. YouTube knows now. So we should get the plaque in a couple months. Yeah. So once we figure out when we're going to get the plaque, then we'll have it planned for then because we need the plaque for that. Uh, new, new pup is four months old. She's Natalie months B old. said, what happened to the cat jumpers? Yeah. Uh, they're hanging, we still have them. Hanging in the closet. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. loves his cat <laughs> romper and he is so excited to wear it. So don't worry, guys. It just takes us a long time to get to get yeah. So Steven, that's a that's a cool question. Do you guys ever even bother with hype shoes? Uh, Yeezys, Travis Scott shoes, it seems you make more avoiding hype releases. Yeah, I think they're really hard to judge. You know, I think they're really hard to judge. Um, my brother actually got those Travis Scotts uh, when they came out and he's he still got them. He's holding on to them. So, Smart. but it's so hard to judge. There's been so many releases that are just flops, you know, that and they're very difficult to get. Um, so I, you know, people that focus on that stuff, um, you have to be like, you have to have other sources besides just trying to get, even using bots, trying to, trying to get the drops. 
Um, so but I'm not against it personally. If you can get a sneaker and resell it, go for it. Um, but I don't, I don't really do it. If I'm doing sneaker drops, it's really more to, uh, to see if I can get them for Ben. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mochi space right now. All right, guys. <sighs> That's it. We're done. It's time to go home. Shiro. Yeah, 909. Shiro is Japanese for white. Oh, I saw That's that, and I thought Shiro was a really cool name. That's Someone said name. Khaleesi. Khaleesi. Mochi she has the white and hair. Like Khaleesi. I like that. Mochi and Shiro. Right, Shiro guys. is cool. It's Japanese. Or a food. Should we name her pizza? <laughs> she has pizza ears. Look at them. Oh, Look yeah. at her She's little pizza industry. Her name's Bye. like a... Sandwiches. Her <laughs> name's sandwiches. You went from sandwiches to pizza. <laughs> See you guys like later. Food. Hit the thumbs up button before you go. Bye. Bye. Bye, <laughs> Bye guys. Watch it like.